The movie is set in a dystopian future where technology has become indispensable in performing just about any task. At the start, a man named Stripe dreams about a beautiful woman. Soon he wakes up and it is revealed that Stripe is a new military recruit. He is set to go on a mission with his squad, which includes a female soldier named Hunter Rayman and an arrogant soldier, Leonard. Why the Leonards always have to be so arrogant? Stripe's team has been tasked with checking out an infestation of roaches in a nearby village. Roaches are pale, snarling, humanoid monsters with sharp teeth. Apparently, these creatures are vicious and they prey on innocent people. It is Stripe's first field day after his training, so he is nervous and scared. But when Rayman encourages him, he gets riled up. Shortly after, the squad arrives at a village, which has just been looted by a bunch of roaches. The terrified villagers try to explain the situation, but they speak in a different language, which the soldiers can't comprehend. So, the group's commander, Medina, takes out a translator and starts interrogating the villagers. She eventually learns that the roaches escaped in the direction of someone named Parn Heidecker. Parn is a solitary religious freak who is apparently suffering from mental health issues. The locals claim that he let roaches cross his land and even left out food for them. In the meantime, Stripe individually speaks to the villagers and promises to one of them that he will try his best to keep them safe. Suspecting that Parn is helping the roaches, the soldiers head out for his compound. It is then revealed that each soldier in the military has a neural implant called Mass embedded in their brain, which provides data via AR or augmented reality. Mass also helps the military in strategic operations. Soon, the squad reaches Parn's large compound and plans their raid using holographic maps and data displays, which each soldier has access to thanks to the implants in their brains. Medina, Stripe, Rayman, and Leonard are in charge of talking to Parn and searching the main house, while the others are assigned with raiding the nearby outer buildings. Executing their mission, Medina knocks on the door and demands to inspect his home. A few seconds later, a scared Parn answers, and it appears as if he is the only one home. Although reluctant at first, he lets the soldiers inside his house. Raymond and Stripe quickly go about searching upstairs, while Medina and Leonard interrogate Parn. After talking to him for a bit, Medina notices some religious symbols decorating the walls. This makes her realize that Parn is simply looking out for the roaches because of some religious beliefs that all living species must be protected. She attempts to disabuse him of this notion by discussing the supposed sickness in the roaches' blood, which doesn't care about ideals of common humanity. She also tells him that the roaches need to be exterminated if humanity is going to survive. Medina is starting to sound a lot like a uh, Hitler. Meanwhile, Stripe and Rayman search the room upstairs to check for any roaches. They come across a hidden room and decide to split up. In one room, Stripe sees a blanket with multiple shadows behind it. When he lifts the blanket, he finds three terrifying roaches there. The roaches appear to be pale humanoids with sharp teeth, flattened noses, and discolored eyes. Voldemort would be proud. One of them holds up a mysterious device with a green light. Stripe immediately shoots one in the head and starts tussling with another. As the creature attempts to bite him, he draws out his knife and stabs the roach in the chest. Even after it is dead, a disturbed Stripe continues stabbing it. After the encounter, he examines the mysterious green light device and experiences a flash which causes a slight strain in his eyes. As Rayman rushes to help him, she is knocked down the stairs by an escaping roach. At the same time, Parn attempts to stab Medina, but he is easily subdued and taken into custody. Before heading back to their base, Medina decides to set the compound on fire, which also destroys the mysterious green light device. The next day, Rayman is seen practicing her sharpshooting against roach targets so that none get away the next time. It is evident that she is envious of a newbie like Stripe killing two roaches on his first day. Soon, Stripe arrives and joins in on the exercise. He aims at his target, but suddenly, his neural implant glitches and he ends up missing. This worries Rayman, but Stripe insists that he is fine. However, during push-up exercises, his neural implant continues to glitch, which affects his performance. Medina notices this and orders him to see a doctor resolving to get to the bottom of the issue. Stripe follows his commander's orders and goes to the military hospital. The doctor runs a diagnostic test on Stripe's implant but fails to find anything wrong. After a while, Stripe tries to open up about the green device which he found at Parn's compound, but the doctor doesn't understand anything and simply refers to a person called Arquette. It turns out Arquette is a resident military psychologist. He suspects that Stripe's problem may have something to do with the fact that he killed two roaches brutally. He also claims that a few days of proper rest should resolve everything. Before parting ways, Arquette promises to Stripe an extremely good sleep by programming something special for his dreams that night. This dream involves the return of Stripe's recurring fantasy of the beautiful woman surrounded by flowing drapes. This time, though, it's more intense. The lights are red, and she asks him to have coitus with
with her. Stripe gives in and the two have a wonderful time, but just then, the glitch turns up again, forcing him to wake up. He sits up in his bunk and looks over his comrades, who are all peacefully sleeping. The next day, Stripe, Rayman, and Medina are back in the village helping out with food and supplies. There, Medina informs the group that a piece of information was extracted on the Roach's whereabouts from Parn. Hence, the squad heads out to the said location to perform a recon. After a while, the trio arrives at an abandoned area and plans their recon with the help of a drone and their mass implants. As the group continues discussing, Stripe's implant glitches out yet again and malfunctions. Suddenly, he realizes that he can smell the grass, which he could not before when the implant was working. He tries to explain it to Rayman, but she simply ignores him. All of a sudden, shots are fired and Medina is struck in the head, instantly killing her. Despite the setback, Rayman somehow retrieves the drone from the crossfire and uses it to locate the shooter. It turns out that the roaches are holed up in a room with a stolen rifle. Stripe seems distraught, but Rayman decides to make their way into the compound, providing cover fire for each other. Stripe, who is still confused and dizzy after the implant stopped working, reluctantly agrees and follows his comrade. There, the two find a kind of makeshift electronic workshop, probably the source of that green light device from earlier. Shortly after, Stripe finds something even more surprising. He sees a normal-looking woman hiding out in one of the rooms, begging for her life. She doesn't look like a roach, so Stripe tells her to get out of there, promising not to hurt her. She slowly backs into the hallway, attempting to flee, but shockingly, Rayman shoots her dead. This stuns Stripe, and he questions why she killed a civilian, but she simply brushes him aside and moves forward, going on a killing spree spree, mowing down all the roaches in the building. Strangely, from Stripe's perspective, all the roaches she kills look like normal humans, which shocks him even more. Rayman then proceeds to kill a frightened mother-son duo, but before she can do so, Stripe intervenes and knocks her unconscious. Sadly, he also gets shot in the process. After a while, he staggers to his feet and escapes with the mother and son while profusely bleeding. As Stripe leads them to safety, Rayman wakes up and witnesses them getting in the military vehicle and fleeing. After having been shot in the belly and losing a lot of blood, Stripe passes out behind the wheel, making the car come to a complete stop in the middle of the woods. Then the woman drags Stripe into her small hidden cave made up of twigs and dirt and begins to treat his wound. He soon regains consciousness and gets startled by the woman applying bandages on his wound. The woman introduces herself as Katarina and her son as Alec. She then drops a major revelation. It turns out that the roaches the military has been hunting are just normal beings. It is the mass implant that alters the soldier's senses and makes them look like inhumane monsters. This is because the higher class people look upon the roaches as some disease-ridden, poor, and unintelligent beings. Katarina also reveals that the green light device used on Stripe was built by her friend to mess with the implants, to make the soldiers see the roaches as their real selves, i.e. humans. The roaches are victims of a genocide justified by the military as genetic cleansing. Damn, I didn't expect my Hitler joke to hit so deep. A stunned Stripe asks why the villagers hate the roaches, despite them having no such implants. Katarina responds that while the locals see the roaches as humans, they still treat them as inferior due to propaganda. Turns out that 10 years ago, the government ran DNA checks all around the world, which changed everything. People with genetic predispositions to illness were categorized as roaches, which was a campaign set in motion by television and internet media. Unfortunately, as the two continue talking, Rayman tracks them down. The two roaches try running away, but they are immediately shot and killed. This traumatizes Stripe, and he breathes heavily as Rayman walks up to him him while pointing her gun at him. She then demands an explanation for his earlier betrayal, but Stripe, who is still in a state of shock and remorse, keeps murmuring to himself, none of this is true. Sadly, this only puzzles Rayman, and she knocks him out with her gun. In the next scene, Stripe wakes up in a white-walled cell, crouching in the corner. Soon, Arquette pays him a visit and offers him coffee. He also apologizes to Stripe for failing to catch the glitch in his neural implant sooner. The psychologist then explains that the green device he found in the farmhouse was reverse-engineered by the roaches from some of the military's drone parts. The light in the device transmits a code which is like a virus. It burrows into one's mass and tries to shut it down from within. However, Stripe calls everything a lie and insists that the roaches look just like them. Arquette acknowledges it, but also claims that the roaches are dangerous. He then adds that humans are genuinely empathetic as a species, and this is why creatures like the roaches are 
taking advantage of them. Following this, Arquette gives the example of World War II, during which most soldiers didn't fire their weapons, or if they did, they would just aim over the heads of their enemies on purpose. In numbers, only 15 to 20 percent of the soldiers would pull the trigger. The fate of the world was at stake, but only a small fraction of them fired. Arquette comments that the war would have been over a whole lot quicker had the military grown some cojones and did their job. Because of this, the officials had to figure out a way to work around humans' natural empathy, as many soldiers were afraid to kill. Arquette reveals that mass alters soldiers' senses, such as smell and sound, so that they can kill without hesitation or remorse. He then shows a video evidence where Stripe consented to the memory and sense-altering effects of the mass procedure. It turns out that after Stripe was implanted with the mass, all of his previous memories were erased. Furious, Stripe attempts to attack Arquette, but the latter uses the implant to blind him. The cunning psychologist then offers him two choices. Stripe can either allow the military to reset his implant, wiping out his memory of the past few days and this very conversation, or to be incarcerated forever. Initially, Stripe chooses to be incarcerated. To help him reconsider, Arquette plays the footage of the first mission in his mind. However, in this footage, Stripe sees the real events that unfolded without the alteration of the mass system. He witnesses himself brutally murdering and stabbing normal people, which he then saw as roaches. He also learns that the roach that had escaped from Stripe's first mission was actually Katarina. As expected, the footage breaks Stripe from the inside, and he eventually decides to wipe out his memory of the past few days. In the final scene, Stripe, now a decorated officer, leaves his base and approaches a house. He has tears streaming down his face as he smiles, and watches the girl from his dreams walk towards him from the empty and dilapidated house. Damn, Black Mirror. You